We all know that ballistic rated helmets can stop bullets, but what happens to that energy transfer when it gets into your head and your neck? That's an excellent question because it's got to go somewhere. So today we've got some pistol rounds and we've got some rifle rounds and we are going to push these things past their max. Absolutely. And as always, we're going to capture it in ultra high speed. Welcome back to ballistic high speed. <laughs> Okay, well, if you saw my accident, I was wearing a ballistic helmet when that accident happened. It definitely played a part in saving my life, but I still wound up with a bunch of whiplash. So it kind of got us thinking, what kind of injuries might you sustain in the neck area, but down on the scale of what these are actually supposed to be protecting you from? Guard Dogs sent us these level 3A ballistic helmets. They come with a helmet cover, which is pretty cool. A lot of them don't. I think they're pretty comfortable. I have most of the pads gutted from this one just to fit it on this guy's fat head. So number one is just going to get the standard well within its NIJ rating treatment. It's going to get a nine millimeter, except this time we're going to do hollow point. Typically, if you're running into a threat like this, it's probably not on the static range where you're just burning through your full metal jacket ammo. You're probably going to be carrying your, your protection loads. And then we do have a full metal jacket for the 45 just because the energy transfer from these fat, slow things is so cool. Because kinetic energy is one thing, but bullets also carry momentum. So first up, we're gonna get the pistols knocked out of the way. Of course, we gotta use the Pit Viper from Terran Tactical. Now I'm just gonna try to put this nine millimeter hollow point somewhere right around in here. I'm gonna try to keep it off the arc rails and we're just gonna focus on the helmet itself. We took the helmet cover off just for framing of the cameras. That does not affect NIJ ratings whatsoever. Okay, nine millimeter hollow point. Three, two, one. Whoa! It went way low. I pushed the sh out of that. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, apparently I can't shoot today, so I already blew most of his face off. We don't need that to see this helmet work, so let's try this again. There we go. Okay, I see something. Yeah. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, little hole. Ooh, I can already tell it looks like the bullet like veered off and came back up a little bit. Oh, is that what that, that is? I don't know. To clarify, this was when you pulled your shot a little bit. Yeah, awkward. I must have pushed the hell out of that one. Okay. So, I mean, you're gonna have some back face. But also, there's gonna be some padding in here too. Yeah. This guy's head's just fat. Yep. But even still, don't see anything other than when I basically just shot him with shot no him through the cheek <laughs> or the temple. Even the skin's not really roughed up that much. It's just the normal bubble texture from the gel. Bing. Ooh, that crumpled. Well, look at the helmet moving before the head does. I wanted more. I didn't do a whole lot. No. Whoa, it made it look like flimsy for a second. Yeah. Let's fast forward. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay. God, that makes my neck feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm curious to see what's going on right in that crumple zone. Well, I guess if the helmet's flexing, that means that energy's moving around yeah. the skull instead of right. into the skull. So let's see what the 2512 has to say. I love when you can see the shadow. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. Wow. So it pulls in there further. You can see underneath it all spreading out and twisting and torquing. And it is still so amazing to me that at 16 feet, it stopped see the difference in plasticity because that helmet's moving and the skin and bones are catching up and yep. then it kind of goes. All right, well, we'll put him back on. Um, let's, uh, let's increase the mass. Maybe like back over here. And if you enjoy this type of like investigations with ballistics and forensics and different sciences about weapons and stuff, you can get your start in it at sdi.edu. Or if you just want to like get into general gunsmithing and you don't know where to start, the link in the description below is where you should start, sdi.edu. Now let's get back to shooting. Alrighty, this is going to be the 45 full metal jacket. To the back of the cranium. To the back of the dome. You ready? Yep, high speed's ready. All right. Ooh. Uh, it was a little right. I think you're good. Should be good? Yeah. Man. Looks like the outside's dented in a little bit more than from the side shot, but. Okay. Not much at all. Where is it at? I can't even see it. Right. Oh, I see. oh, wow, that's like a little bit bigger than a quarter. Oh, look, it like, oh, went in and ramped up. Very cool. 
Cool. So it's like the outer layer just eats it and then everything underneath is what redirects and stops it. A little bit of a scuff mark, looks like. Is that a fracture? Yeah. At this point, it's worth mentioning there was no padding inside of this, which that means is true. that would have eaten up a lot of this distance. And also this isn't real bones. Yeah. Padding on though, it just sat so high. It was, it's like not a realistic, right? Realistic fit. I don't think that would have actually fractured your but, skull. dummy aside, we can see that there is next to no back well, stiff. I mean, think of there. the thickness of the padding that goes in these helmets. Yeah, I mean, that you can see have... oh, like yeah. inside of mine. I don't think that would have even touched him much at all with the padding in there. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. It just eats it. Ooh, Ooh bouncy. I'm wondering if it collapsing in that much has anything to do with the fact that we couldn't fit padding in there, you know? I kind of knocked some snot out of him. Did you see that? I mean, if I was to put my engineering hat on, yeah. they surely have padding in there for a reason. Because even World War II helmets had like a band that goes around you, to keep it up off. Because there's no way you're not going to get back face deformation on the inside. You need some distance for that to be taken care of before it touches your head. I've probably got a head in the graveyard somewhere. Like a ballistic dummy lab head yeah, okay because it, it, this is just not indicative of normal user experience you're gonna have some padding in there okay let's give it let's give so, it a true test i don't think guard dog got a real fair shake so i found one of our old i mean this thing is decrepit the skull is intact so now this has the full padding and the retention strap is actually tightened to the skull this has not been shot this is brand new so we're gonna redo the 45 to give guard dog what they deserve then we'll bring the other guy back in flip it around yeah. eight six to end the day they trusted us to do their testing so that's what we're gonna do this is the 45 versus a fresh helmet that has its pads and its retention band Ooh, now let's see what we got i see the back of the bullet oh it. okay get him undone he's good yep wow so we didn't show his head naked before this. That weird line there, that was already there. Okay. Not a whole lot. That's it right there. That's crazy. All smushed in. That's the that's 45. You can see it definitely caught the round in there. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> you see that energy transfer? Yeah. It kicks forward, stays put as it moves the head, and then the head yanks on the strap. It was like doom to doom. But at least we verified it's not gonna just break your skull. Yes, I do feel a lot better about that. Yeah, I think that's why you want some distance. <laughs> that's a solid inch of penetration, and it almost came back out. Oh, it tried. <laughs> yep. And then there's the energy transfer into the head. I didn't know helmets crumpled quite that much on impact. Yeah, I thought it was more of a firm, like, stop the bullet. So that was the proper 45 okay. test for the guard dog. We've got the right side of the helmet we can shoot. You want to try a 223? Oh, we just want to do the same helmet? I think so, yeah. Just really test this thing. Either that or we could go over here. Okay. We're moving into the 223. So I'm going to shoot it out of my 223 Wild. This is the same helmet, but we're already blowing way past the NIJ rating. I just want to re-reiterate, this is well over this helmet's rating. I bet it stops it. That would be kind of cool. We'll see. Let's find out. Is that really it? I, I hardly see anything. I see more of this happening, more of the oozing. Oh, Ooh, we got smoked. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, and that's why we have armor ratings. This is true. <laughs> Man, I bet it took a lot of the energy out. I mean, it, yeah. it doesn't matter because it's stuck in his cranium, but. <laughs> so did it come out? Oh, yeah. No way. Wow. So wait, did that catch it in the backside of the helmet? Or is that the bullet in there? Oh my gosh, smoke's coming out of him. Really? Yeah, it's lodged in the other no side of the way. helmet. <laughs> so it technically stopped the bullet. <laughs> Just not how it was supposed to. It saved the guy behind you in the stack? Yeah. We appreciate companies that let us do stuff like this because yeah. it does showcase the importance of knowing what gear you're purchasing yep. before you spend your hard-earned money on it. So, anything inside of its NIJ capabilities, you're good. You step outside the realm, you should have bought a level four, I guess. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Man, 223s are zippy. It almost looks like the helmet 
didn't even do anything. See it impact on the back a little bit. Oh, kicks Ooh, out some debris there. Yeah. Yeah, he dead. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what is that loop? I think it's like the glue, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the helmet hardly reacts until yeah. it kicks the back of it and then it yanks it forward. It gets yanked, yeah. So we went from the 45 like cratering to yeah. the 223 not even knowing that's, it's there. That's that impulse time again. Right. It spends yep. less time interacting with the material. Man, what do you think? Should we just do fresh helmet and just eight six it? Just eight like six the heck out of him back through here and we just wipe it yeah i mean he's dead and his skull is fractured there's not much left we can learn so this might kick the helmet off his head too maybe <laughs> all right i know how we can find out let's do it <laughs> this is the one that i am most curious about so i don't know what to expect i hope for a lot of carnage all right here we go wow there was a lot of transfer there you can, that entrance hole is so small <laughs> oh jesus <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's, let's get a get a gander at what happened inside. Oh! oh! Bones just falling off the table. Oh, he's so done. Oh my god. Not even close. Look at that smoke oh, coming out. Smoke. Oh, oh. Oh. What, oh my. Did you just cavitate the inside of his brain? I think the 8.6 did. And if you look on that exit shot, it caught about full armor. Yeah. So, I mean, that was, it, it deflected low and came out, yeah. but. Is this like when babies are born and you're not supposed to touch their soft spot? <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> He's so done. Wait, did that round kick up? Oh no, it's right there. Still completely intact almost, just tumbling. Let's make a prediction on how many times per second that's spinning. I say 200 RPM. 200? No, no, I meant 2,000. 2,000 RPM? 2000. I, think gonna be, I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be like 10,000 RPM. Something crazy. Maybe 30,000. I don't know. Look at it spinning right there. Inside all that debris. Wow. So I don't see any type of movement until it's like out the other side. Look at that spiral rifling. That's so cool. If I remember right, this is like a one in three twist. Really? So. It looks aggressive. If you are interested in unique ammunitions, Kerr really specializes in finding you that kind of stuff. As I always bring up, because I seriously love it, they are a family-owned Texas-based business. Of course, as most of you know, over on Patreon, there'll be another shot. That is going to be from this suppressed 308, and we're just going to shoot it right in the front of this helmet. I'm just curious what a suppressed 308 is going to do to it. So you can find this over on Patreon if that's something you'd like to see too. Okay, that was um, 8.6 versus 3A. <laughs> 3A armor and that is which had no reason to be done but no. we did it anyways all right thanks for watching this episode hope you enjoyed hope you learned something thanks to guard dog to sending out these really cool helmets which perform very well for handguns and as expected <laughs> don't perform so well for rifles but that's not what they're rated for thanks to Kerr sending yeah. out this beautiful 8.6 and it's around for a while Kerr also found us some pretty crazy expanding subsonic rounds and there's a lot of dents in here this doesn't feel good <laughs> not anymore <laughs> It used to be comfortable. Yeah. All right, well, as always, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. What you'd like to see captured in ultra high speed, what you'd like to see tested. We have some explosives episodes going on right around this episode as well, so go check out those. And if you haven't seen his accident to learn more about his use case for helmets, yeah, that might be one to check out because we realized that our channel's like doubled in size since that video. And a lot of people don't even know what happened. Yep. They're wondering what all these scars are for. <laughs> and they just have no idea. So there's a good reason. Yeah. So thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Head over to Patreon for the extra shot. That's what, uh, that's what happened to that guy. So 
always helps support the channel and we'll see you in the next episode. Oh no. Goodbye. Oh, God. oh man.